Hello and welcome to Lily's Tesla. Today we have something that I think is really going to be fun. I want to talk about taking long-term trips like vacations or long drives in your Tesla. I think there's a perception probably right now of a lot of people, but maybe it's changing that electric cars are, well, they're great for around town or if I need to take short trips or something, but I certainly couldn't take them on a long drive. Like if we were, were in LA, if somebody wanted to go to Vegas or San Francisco or San Diego, they'd be like, well, no, I, I want to, you know, I want to take my regular gas car because electric cars are great for short little trips around town. Well, that's really not the case, at least for our Tesla. We have the long range version, so we can go 330 miles on a charge, which really translates to more like the high twos. Uh, you know, 280 or something like that. But a lot of the other electric cars are starting to come online. And then that also gets into the charging network. Uh, so I want to talk about all that. So recently, Emily graduated from college. She was going to San Francisco State University. And we um, took the trip up there to go to her graduation and to pack up her apartment and help her move back down here. She has a Toyota Matrix, which I think you've seen us work on, do some things on that. It's a regular gasoline car. She had it up there that she used to drive around. And we drove up there in our Tesla. And I'm going to show you, let's look, take a look at the screen and show you how you would do a trip like that. So we're in Los Angeles or Southern California, and we're taking a trip to San Francisco. This is how it would go. All right, so... Here I am sitting at a park um, near my house, not too far, and we can see this is our, our main screen. Let's end that trip. So I don't know what trip it had going, maybe Lily going to work or something like that. So we have the navigation button there, and then we have our current charge, which is 35%, which isn't very much, and then time and temperature and my, my driving, and then a map, and then uh, there's our what we were doing. So let's say we want to go to um, San Francisco, San Francisco State University, SFSU. I don't have to know the address, first of all. I don't know. I mean, most navigation programs, you don't need to know the actual address anymore, but you just type in a name or a description or anything like that. So San Francisco State University, that's on Holloway Avenue. In San Francisco, that's it. And I want to go now. So it says finding superchargers. It's going through some machinations. It has our drive. We're at the triangle. And then it has us going all the way to San Francisco. So this is kind of how it would work. Is we're starting off with 35%. So it says, okay, so let's go. <laughs> it's ready to go right now. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to look at all of these. So it has all of your navigation going to here. That's going to be our first stop. So the four there, that indicates that there's four available chargers at that location. So what we're going to do is we're going to go, you know, we go from the, from this location and then, um, we drive all the way to Redondo beach. And so it's 1152 now. We will arrive at 1219. We'll have 21% charge when we get there, and it will charge for 20 minutes in Redondo Beach. Then what we'll do is we'll drive to Bakersfield. There's a Bakersfield supercharger. We'll be at 18%. We'll get there at 220, uh, 225 p.m., and we'll charge for 35 minutes. And then we'll go to Gilroy. We'll be at 12%, and then we'll charge for 20 minutes. So all together, we're going to probably charge for about an hour total. Um, and that's starting at 35%. And then we'll arrive at, at San Francisco State at 7-11 tonight. And we'll have 22% left. We probably, wouldn't, um, we probably wouldn't start off with 35%. What we would do is charge at home because it's pretty cheap um, to charge there. And we would uh, probably leave with 95%. And so that would put us maybe one or two charges, probably 
a really quick one in Bakersfield, like 10 minutes, and then a, maybe a 20 minute in Gilroy and we would be there. So this is an hour charging. We could actually probably be less than a half an hour if we wanted to. And so this is the most expensive way to pilot your Tesla is going to all superchargers. It's also not very good for the car. You shouldn't do supercharging on a regular basis. And one of the things we discovered when we were in San Francisco is we went to these destination chargers, which is the next level lower charging stations. And let me, let me turn the camera around because you guys have seen this enough. So in San Francisco, we went to, we, we were trying to find a supercharger, but there was a destination charger that was closer to our hotel. So we went over there and we're always worried it was going to take a long time rather than the 10 or 15 minutes. It was going to take like 20 to 25 minutes, which isn't actually that bad. And we realized that instead of charging us 20, $25 to fill up, it was only like $9. So to give up, if you're not in a hurry and you can, you know, wait an extra 10 minutes to go to a destination charger, it's like less than half the price of that. So you, you saw how many times we charged. If it was, you know, $9 each time, we probably could have gotten to San Francisco for $25 charging. Or if we would have charged at home, which is very cheap, just a couple of dollars and started off, we might have only needed to charge once or twice, so maybe less than $20 to get all the way to San Francisco. And I think that's a pretty good deal. Um, we yeah. drove there, and then we drove all around San Francisco. We went to Dublin, which is off the 580, to visit some family. We went to Redwood City. We went into the city. We went to the stadium. We drove all over for three days, and then we drove home. And I, I will put um, a couple of photos of my phone showing the um, the cost that we paid for all the charging for that trip and uh, i'll put it probably right here here and uh, we so i want to break in here a little bit and show you the um, screen that comes on my phone this tells you your charge status and it's by month and the cost there 164 dollars is a little misleading that's the cost for the whole month it's um, near the end of the month. It's the 29th of the month. So this is kind of a good uh, look at an entire month of usage. And it has different color codes there. The uh, blue is charging at home, which you can see we don't do too often, but sometimes we do, usually on the weekends. And the orange is at work. So that's where Lily charges at work. And those are actually all free. So you would have to, because her, her work provides free charging, so you have to subtract all of those from the $164. The red is the superchargers, and the gray is the other. So those are, that's the um, non-supercharger or destination chargers that we're talking about. So the red spikes there, that's our San Francisco trip. Otherwise, it's kind of a normal, a normal month for us. So the blue line the day before the red lines is the night before our trip that we charged we charged all the way up to 95 percent and that was six dollars then the next day we and we, it, it bled over into the morning because we charged um at at night so the, there's a little bit of a blue line because it's the next morning then we got in the car and we drove and that represents that that first red line represents the a trip that I just showed you on the map, and that was fifty-five dollars of charging to to do all of those those uh, charging. We actually just charged in Bakersfield and Gilroy, those two, and those were both superchargers. So that was fifty-five dollars for that. Then we charged kind of in the middle of our trip when we were running around, and the gray line was nine dollars for us to charge and that was what we used for you know two or three days to go all the way around and then coming back home was 51 dollars. so if you add that up all together our trip was about 120 dollars in charging probably the whole month was 140 dollars total 
of charging. And out of that 120 of it was um, just that um, three or four days. But we could have really reduced that if we use some of the destination chargers um, that uh, would have taken a little bit longer, but probably would have cut that in half or even less. So instead of $120, we might have only spent, you know, around $50 for the entire trip to get there, come back, and drive all around San Francisco. So not too bad. See that. And I think if you contrasted that to driving an average vehicle, um, you know, you wouldn't want to take your little small car because we did, we were, we had several people, family and things that we were carrying around. We had five people that went to the stadium. And then when we were coming home, we packed the whole thing with boxes and, and things when she was moving. So uh, kind of a medium sized car, I think you would have spent a lot more in gas, probably three, three or four times what we spent in electricity. And it's this video isn't about it, but the self-driving was really nice on the five. I, it drove, I drove almost all the way home. It drove more than 95% of the time. I just did a little bit of the off ramps and on ramps, but it did most of the driving and seven hours driving is a lot, a lot of time. And I just had it driving on there for me. And it was very cool. It worked great. And I was really appreciative that it, it was on there. The last thing I want to talk about is the time. So you kind of seen how much time it takes. We could probably get that down to a half hour charging. But once we were done with graduation, we had visited family, everything was over the morning. We went to Emily's apartment and packed up all of her stuff. She had a bunch of boxes and it was all nicely packed and packed up her little Toyota Matrix and ours, our Model Y, and we both left at the same time. It was Lily and I and Tita Mel in this car and then Emily and Lauren were in the other car. And so we, we left and we had to charge a couple of times. We charged in Gilroy and then in Bakersfield and no, we charged at Tijon Ranch. And at Tijon Ranch, they have an outlet mall. So we stopped at the Columbia Outlet Mall and looked around a little bit and did some shopping and um, went to the restroom and things like that. We stopped at the McDonald's and, and, uh, and Emily and Lauren, they, they filled up with gas, I think in Gilroy, and then they stopped for Starbucks. So kind of an average trip. We weren't racing. Neither of us were competing or whatever. Uh, we kind of made normal stops that everybody would make. We left at the same time and we got here at our house almost the same time within five minutes of each other. And so I didn't realize it until after I said, that was a really cool test of a gasoline car and an electric car on a long term trip. You're going to, you're going to drive it, do some normal stops and, um, see which one wins. Well, there wasn't really any penalty for the electric car. Didn't really take us much more time. And I know we saved a lot in electricity. And I think the matrix has cruise control, but that's it. This thing just drove for me the whole way back. And uh, it did a great job. So I don't think that old uh, idea of you know, electric car only for short trips it, and you can't take it on a long trip. It might be, you know, waiting a lot of time or I don't know what people think uh, is going to happen, but that, that myth is busted. This was a real world challenge. We did it just as a normal car. We weren't doing this to do the challenge. We just were doing it because this is our car and that we were going there. So if you wanted to go to Vegas or if you want to go, I don't know, to the Grand Canyon or something, really anywhere you want to go um, with the Tesla and the range and the charging network, it's an it's a inexpensive and efficient way to go. So I think it's pretty cool. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. So that's uh, my whole spiel on long-term driving uh, Lily's Tesla. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.